Welcome to Jersey Matters. I'm Larry Menti. In a moment, we're going up to Jersey City to talk to its powerful mayor, Stephen Fulop. He is in the middle of the debate over legalized recreational marijuana. Also on today's show, New Jersey has a big problem. Kids are coming here to go to college, and then they're leaving to take jobs in other states. We'll tell you what the state is doing about that. Also, we'll take you to a brand new restaurant. All of the food is organic and gluten-free, and they'll even let you watch them make it. And in my commentary today, inside information about another Supreme Court justice who may be about to retire. And now, my interview with Jersey City Mayor Stephen Fulop. Let me read a couple of headlines to you. Expungement must be a part of new pot law. Yeah. Mayors Baraka and Fulop, Governor Murphy, must ensure cannabis jobs come to our cities. New Jersey mayors threaten to ban weed dispensaries if lawmakers don't meet demands. Yeah. It sounds like demands and threats. Uh, I guess, you know, like I look at it and say that uh, there's demands there. And uh, I guess you could say that there's threats. If I said that if X, Y, Z wasn't included in the law that I think is important, um, we wouldn't participate in it. So I guess you could call that a threat. Why, why that language, though? Like, why would you threaten them and make demands? Can't you work with them to get what you want? Um, well, yeah, we've told them that these are things that are important to us. Uh, or this is going to happen. Yeah, that's right. That's right. So these things are important. Example, you need to be able to expunge uh, marijuana previous convictions. Why? Because to me, it seems like an inherent contradiction to say that somebody's going to be uh, having an arrest record for selling uh, weed at the same corner that the state of New Jersey is going to prove tomorrow that a, a corporation can come in and now sell legally. So for me, it's important to be linked. And so I'll say, hey, this has to be linked because ideologically that's important to me. If you're not willing to do that, that's OK. That's your prerogative. But that means also that I don't need to participate in what you're doing. And that's fair. Let me let me deal with the expungement for a second, yeah. because how do you see that happening? Let's let's take uh, let's take the, uh, for the basis of the argument that that most of the people are were arrested either unfairly or they're they're otherwise yeah. good citizens, yeah. and that might be a reasonable expectation. But in that, there's going to be some people that you don't probably want back in society. Yeah. So I need I think you need to think of it in uh, do they have other violent offenses uh, offenses, and you need to look at the total picture of each person. So. Uh, but I do think that for the most part, if you have no other convictions and you were arrested for uh, smoking or selling weed, um, I do think that there should be aggressive expungement around that. And, and uh, I, I am fully aware also that if Jersey City isn't participating in marijuana sales, the state of New Jersey won't hit their objectives as far as revenue standpoint. So I'd have some leverage on that. And I think ideologically, uh, the expungements are important. So that's where I am. So, so for the expungements, there'd be a vetting process in, in the way you see it. Yeah. Yeah, to some degree, to some degree, but I, I, it shouldn't be so cumbersome and it should be happening fairly quickly. That's the way Where is your understanding? We've, we've talked to many state senators yeah. and, and many assembly, assembly yeah. people recently, and they say this isn't happening right now. I mean, yeah. because it's really tied up and a lot of people are undecided on how they're going to vote. Where do you see it as? I mean, I'm, I'm a supporter of it. I've been an early supporter of it. But the only reason that we were going to restrict some of it was that Jersey City wanted to control the zoning by ourselves. We don't need Trenton saying that we're going to allow 10 dispensaries in uh, Jersey City and they're all going to be around a certain area or the uh, path station downtown. So we wanted to control that. Uh, hopefully it happens. You know, I think that would be wise for Trenton to support. And uh, I think it would be also important for it to be uh, including the expungement component. Otherwise, that whole social, social justice argument kind of falls flat. So in, in your, if you had the way you'd like it to happen, who would yeah. be in control of it? Who would decide? Where they go, location-wise. Yeah, well, that's the local big fight right local now, local right? Local municipalities. I think like you got to give flexibility to mayors, ultimately. Local municipalities. I mean, they're going to fight between if it's the governor or the Senate president. And the reality is that local towns should decide for themselves what and where they want these and what the revenue component is. I mean, another big problem that I have is that uh, what that tax rate looks like, uh, there needs to be dollars for the local municipality. Otherwise, what's the incentive for us to be involved in it? We have health, co uh, health inspector costs. We have policing costs, security costs. That's all on us. So Trenton passes legislation. They say, OK, go on your way. You guys are good to go. But uh, there's nothing in it for the local municipality. Why would we participate? By the way, I love your Twitter feed. 
Oh, thanks. Most, I do it myself. Yeah, it's myself. great. It really yeah. is great because most people, most politicians or office holders who have Twitter feeds, they're usually just patting themselves on the back. But you yeah. say substantive things. Oh, I appreciate and that. And so the last time I was here, I interviewed you about it. And I, I picked out a couple from today okay. that I would right. like okay. to ask you about. And I want to get it exactly. That's why I wrote it out. Everyone understands the benefits in job creation Amazon offered. Yeah. But worth pointing out on the New Jersey front that the New Jersey Chamber of Commerce is wrong here. They said it was yeah. anti-business to do it. Yeah. People in New York City argued against a tax subsidy and argued for good labor practices. Advocating those two things isn't yep. being anti-business. Yeah, yeah. Does that mean you agree with the pressure that was put on them for them to move out of town? Well, I, I, I agree with the two requests. And then I also say Amazon's in a position to say, uh, screw you, and uh, I don't need to participate in it. If I was in New York City, I would say uh, the labor component is important to me, for sure and uh, the subsidies need to be directly in the community. I, I don't know the nuances of the New York deal beyond that. Uh, the New Jersey Chamber of Commerce came out and said, ah, the community is anti-business, and I didn't see it that way. I saw it as they were arguing for two things. Amazon knows that they have an exorbitant amount of leverage, so they could push anybody around, and they said, we don't want to participate in that, and that's fine. That's fine, but I didn't view that as anti-business because you, they were asking for those two things. Amazon leaving, though, that's that's a bad thing for Jersey City, right? Amazon leaving is a bad thing for the whole region. It's a bad thing for Jersey City, for sure. But um, Amazon views themselves as a situation we don't need anything from anybody. And that probably goes at the heart of why are you giving some sort of subsidy? That was the crux of the argument. If Amazon was directly fixing the subway system or directly building more schools, I think people would have a different view on it. But I didn't view any of the arguments as anti-business. I just viewed them as reasonable things the community wanted. And Amazon said, I don't need to participate in that. I'm not part of that. It was, after, that. It was after it was all done, though. That, that, I think that's what people are arguing about. It was already after it was done. And Meaning so what, the that benefit, the community came out? And, no, no, no. The community came out. They, they were out there beforehand. But yep. then there was complaints after they already got the deal. And, and that could kill the deal at that point. And, Fair. And, the, and that the benefits outweighed what they were arguing against. I, I think that, well, well, then there's a communication issue breakdown on that. I think people felt that, yes, you could get $14 billion in revenue in exchange for $3 billion in tax credit. That's a good trade. Um, most people don't feel like they see the benefits when politicians say, I mean, you're going to get $14 billion in tax revenue. So, I mean, I hear that argument all the time here, right? Because we've given tax abatements before. Mm -hmm. We've weaned off that, though, over the last couple of years. But people don't buy into the situation. Well, this is important for the big picture, and this helps you because of your tax situation. Nobody wants to hear that, and people don't believe it. And I think we do a bad job of communicating. Well, let me get to another tweet that you had, and it was a um, it was a tweet that you were replying also to someone who said that you were the highest ranking uh, office holder, Democratic office holder in the state of New Jersey, yeah, yeah. that has not endorsed yeah. Cory Booker yeah. for president. Yeah. Um, you haven't endorsed him. Why? No. Well, look, I, I, I like Cory Booker. Um, I think he's done a good job as a senator, but uh, you know my number one priority is uh, finding somebody and supporting somebody in a meaningful way that will be Trump. And that's and, not Cory Booker. You know, I'm not entirely sure he's the person that is best situated to do that. And uh, you know, I want to hear from other candidates and what they all kind of can offer. So you know, I, I think that. New Jersey's primary is late, so politically speaking, there's limited amount of influence anybody can do, including myself. I'm realistic about that, but I do have the ability to be very, very helpful fundraising, and to some degree, our you know delegates are proportional, so I could help on that front. But I'm not entirely sure he's the best situated to win, um, and I want to see what's out there. Okay, when we come back, we'll continue our conversation with Mayor Stephen Phillip. And listen, the American Dream Mall is finally going to happen. At okay. least they claim so. Uh, this yeah. man is skeptical. We'll talk yeah, about right. it when Jersey Matters continues. <laughs>